Hi, welcome back to this video brought to you by Maths From Scratch. This is Short Division Level 3, and in this video, we're going to expand on skills learnt from Short Division Level 2. So like always, the best way is by example. So here is our first example, 4012 divided by 2. So we draw our curly brace and our line, and then we write 4012 underneath, and we're going to divide that by 2. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take each digit in turn. How many 2 is going to two into 4? That's 2. How many 2 is going to 0? That's none. And we got that skill from short division level 2. And now this is what short division level 3 is all about. It's this next step. How many 2 is going to 1? Well, again, 2 is too big. So there's no 2 that goes into 1. Now, we don't just leave this 1 there now. We have to do something else with it. So we cross it out and we carry it and we carry it to the next digit. And what that means, that means we now read that 2 as a 12. And so now we ask ourselves, how many 2, how many 2 is going to 12? And so the answer is 2006. So 4012 divided by 2 is 2006. Right, here is example number two. So we've got 5,035 divided by five. Now, we don't have to draw our curly brace or our line because it's already there. So we take each digit in turn. How many fives going to five? Well, that's one. How many fives going to zero? Again, that's zero from short division level two. Now, our third digit, how many fives going to three? Well, five's too big, so we put a zero on top because no fives can fit in it. And then we strike our three and then we carry. So we're now going to carry that three. And now we read this as a 35. And we ask ourselves this question, how many fives going to 35? And the answer is seven. And so that's how we finish off that question. So 5,035 divided by five is 1,007. And it really does pay to leave a space between your digits. So you've got room to put the numbers that you're going to carry. And I do advise you striking them out because it enables you to set your working out more clearly. And it also enables examiners like me to see exactly how you've gone about answering that question. So here is example number three. We've got 51,035 and we need to share that amongst five things. So as always, curly brace and a line. Now I'm going to write my numbers underneath, making sure to leave a gap in between each digit because I don't know if I need to do any carrying yet. Divide that by 5 and then let's go ahead and do this one. So 5's into 5 go once. 5's into 1, well it's too big so it's going to be a 0 and then I'm going to strike that out and carry my 1. So remember we don't read this third digit as a 0 now, we're reading this as a 10. So how many fives fit into 10? Well, that's two. And then carry on to my th third digit, fourth digit, sorry. How many fives going to three? Well, again, it's too big. So it's going to be a zero. I'm going to strike me three and then carry it. So how many fives going to 35? Well, that's going to be seven. So fives into 35 go seven. And so my answer to this division is going to be 10,200. And seven. And now for my final example, I'm going to divide this number by three. So let's set up the question. So write your number underneath again, leaving a space because we don't have to do any carrying or not. And this is the first time we've been asked to divide by three. Now I have on purpose not used any complicated times tables for this because I want to get across the method on how to do short division and I don't want um, I don't want you struggling to work out the answers to the times tables when we should be learning how to do short division so that's why I'm keeping the numbers fairly simple it does work with larger numbers uh, with three sevens nines eights etc uh, and we'll come to that in a later video so let's go ahead and answer this one threes into three go once threes into two well it's too big so we have to put a zero on top and then carry the two. Three is into 21. 
remember we're reading that as a 21 and not as a 1. So that's going to be 7, because 3 times 7 is 21. 3 is into 0, well, nothing. That's short division level 2 again. 3 is into 3, go 1. And then 3 is into 0, don't go. A really common mistake is that if it doesn't fit on the end, we don't put a 0. And so your answer is actually going to be 10 times too small if you don't put your 0 on the end. So you've got to make sure that you finish the question thoroughly. And so the answer to that one is 107,010. And that's the end of the fourth example. And those are the practice questions there for you to have a go at. So thanks for watching this video brought to you by Math From Scratch. And I hope you are finding these videos on short division helpful.